Satnam, I'm in Maldives right now and there's something which I see here so much that I want to share it with you in this particular episode. Uh, well, everywhere I'm going, the one thing I see everyone do is have a sunscreen lotion and they're putting it on their skin. Now, what I want to do with you today is make you understand that your skin is an organ that eats. So when I'm asking somebody, why are you putting all this lotion? Do you know that your body, that it's, you know, it's not good for you. You say, no, 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 this is organic. And you know, this is this, and it is made by the best company. Can you eat it? No, 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 you can't eat it. Well, you are eating it. When you're putting it on your skin, you are eating it. It's going into your body, it's going into your kidney, it's going into your liver. So if you can't eat it, you can't put it on your skin. It's as simple as that. So then you will ask me, but what about the sun? We'll get black, we'll get tanned, we'll get sunburned. Well, you're not even with, even with sunblock, you are not supposed to expose yourself to the sun for more than 20, 25 minutes. And that too, not even in the afternoon sun. It should be the early morning sun before 10 o'clock or the evening sun. Now the point is that if you are going to do the right thing and you're going to be in the sun only for 20 minutes, you don't need the sunblock. But if you want to become a tandoori chicken or a kebab and you want to cook yourself, well, actually the sun is also going to harm you so much that it doesn't matter whether you put sunblock or not because the sunblock is going to harm you for sure. Anything that you're putting on your skin, I had a student once from China and she spoke to me before our first class which was supposed to start the next day at 6 o'clock in the morning and we had this dinner together and she rang my bell at quarter to 6 and she's a short Chinese lady and she gave me a big bag. I said, what is this? She said, see, see, look, look. I said, I opened it and said, it is full of cosmetics, under eye, over eye, uh, firming cream. Uh, sunscreen lotion, night cream, day cream, afternoon cream, the whole bag was full. I said, what is this? She said, $3,000. And then she walked into my room and she emptied out the whole bag in a dustbin and she threw it. She said, I understand what you say, skin, organ, eat. I said, okay, good. And then why am I telling you this story is I saw her after three years at the Bali Spirit Festival and her skin was shining. Because I told her what to put on the skin. I'm, I'm going to tell you also. I'm, I told her what to put on the skin. And she stopped using those chemicals. And her skin was looking better than it had ever looked in her whole life. So you see, the sunblocks, sunscreen lotions, night cream, under eye cream, and all of these things are so useless. All you need. For those of you who message me and keep praising my skin and keep telling me that you glow. and First of all, the most important thing you need is to be kind to be loving, to have a good heart. That's number one. The number two is you need good oils. You take coconut oil, put it on your palm. Now you're energizing your palm and then you're putting it on your skin. And then you're doing this. And then you're stretching it a bit because then when you're stretching it, you're giving it the exercise. Any muscle, if you don't work it, it starts sagging. Your skin starts sagging when you're not exercising it. So you're giving it a light stretch and that's all you need. The skin eats, and I will prove it to you. If you, like, we have certain treatments in, in naturopathy where you're taking the Karelika juice, I think it's called bitter gourd in English, and you're taking the juice of the Karela and you're putting it in, in a small tub and you're putting a feet in it. That's, it's, it's, it's used for healing. And I promise you, after half an hour, you will be able to taste the Karela. So from the sole of the foot, it's gone all the way, all over your body. And that's how important it is for you to understand that your skin is a, an organ that eats. So what we do when we sleep at night, this is what you will do now. You're going to take sesame oil and you're going to rub your palm. The last thing you do is you're going to rub it on your palm and you're going to rub it on the sole of your foot before you sleep. It calms the nervous system down. So in today's session, the awareness that your skin is an organ, if you can't eat it, you can't put it on your skin, no matter how expensive it is, no matter how organic it is, can you eat it? Ask yourself this question and then decide whether you want to put something on your skin 
or not. See you tomorrow. Satnam.